Hey everyone, today's video is for those people who are just like me, you're just starting to dabble into AI image and video creation, well you might want to check out this video first. So you've just downloaded an AI video creation app to your smartphone. The download is free, but the app's yearly subscription plan plus constant demand for you to purchase more credits makes video creation quite frustrating, costing you hundreds of dollars over the long run. Well, what if I was to tell you that you have a free image and video creation tool on your smartphone right now? Would that make you a happy camper? So you've spent some time researching the most popular AI tools for image and video creation, not realizing you had a free app on your phone the whole time in the form of YouTube Dream Screen. The original intention for YouTube's Dream Screen was to be able to create images from text prompts. It would give you a selection of images based on what you've typed in, then you would choose your favorite. Now you would use this image as a background in one of your YouTube shorts. So YouTube's dream screen has come a long way recently. They're now using the Veo2 technology for their AI image and video creations. So forget about just plain old boring background. You can really get quite detailed, six second little snippets of video, quite realistic. You know, I purchased a program called Video Express AI. I went for the whole bundle paid $179 US for it and I have to admit I mean it is a feature rich program but I wasn't exactly thrilled with the results. One example is I wanted to create a bar scene where I had a female bartender wiping down the bar and one of her patrons across from her an older gentleman drinking a beer. Well like I said I wasn't too thrilled with either the image or even the video that it turned out. A lot of weird artifacts a lot of weird things going on with her hands didn't look natural at all. So I'm going to show you now in YouTube's Dream Screen software how you can create not only an image but six second video clips. Start by launching the YouTube app, hitting the plus sign and making sure that Shorts is selected. Now click on the image icon on the bottom left and then go up to the top and click on Create. In the text field, either type or paste in a scene description. This is what's known as a text prompt. So we're going to describe a scene including characters and what they might be doing. When you're satisfied with the text prompt, click on Create. Now I'd like to ask you all to have a little bit of patience. This is going to be done in real time. This is not sped up video at all. Within a few seconds, YouTube will spit out anywhere from one to four images. So what you'll do is you'll pick one of the images you think will work best for your project. So that's I'm going to pick this one here. We can either use a still image or we can create a video. So I click on create video. Again, please have a little bit of patience. This is real time. This is not sped up at all. This is actually how long it takes. And we're going to get a six second video based on that image. It usually starts to show you the video by the time it's around 53%. And there we have it. The bartender is wiping the bar. And check this out. She even walks down to the end. So that's our six second loop. If we're not satisfied with that, we can create another video or just use another video so we can splice the two together to make a longer scene. Again, this is in real time, much faster than any other app I've used so far. There we go. Now look, another six seconds. She's doing something slightly different, raising her hand. Looks like she's having a fun conversation. This is going to be perfect for our project. Okay, so like I mentioned, it is a free feature inside the YouTube app. All you need is a Google account and signed into YouTube to have the feature available to you. Of course, there are some restrictions. You are limited to making pictures and videos in portrait mode. None of this widescreen stuff. So you're not going to be making big full feature length uh, videos with this particular tool. Uh, however, it is a great tool for you to just play around with, get used to doing text prompts, seeing what works, what doesn't work. And like I said, you can experiment all you want. It's 100% free. It's very fast. It's very powerful, a VO2 uh, AI engine. And, you know, if you're going to do something a little bit longer form there, you can, of course, do several six-second clips and then stitch them together in your favorite either free or paid video editing software. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, and I thank you for watching.